Hi everybody. Okay, it's Laura and I'm back. So I have a couple things going on. First of all, let me do this because I don't want to show his address. And I got mail. I have a Christmas card. I opened them so that I don't have to fight with opening them on thing. Um, I got one from Marlo. Explore with me, Marlo C. And I got one from James in Michigan, am I is Michigan, correct? I believe so. This will go up on both of my channels, so um, everybody, doesn't matter which channel you comment from, these will go up on both. And then I'll also give you a health update and a dental update. So if you're hearing me talk funny, there's a problem. Um, so I got them at the same day. I went and checked my mail yesterday, Thanksgiving. And... Um, because I was headed out. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I did not film any cooking because I was taking a mental break for myself. It was necessary and um, yeah, so I needed that and I'm sorry and sometimes it just has to be done. No matter what the plans are, sometimes you just have to step away and let yourself have a moment. So I have this one from Marlo, Explore With Me, Marlo C. And, um, aww, it is so cute. It is so cute. Now I wish I'd actually opened it yesterday. Um, it says sending you a little TLP. And inside it says tender loving prayer. Hoping you're doing better soon. Just a little note to let you know you're thought of. With a heart with Milo C. And that's sweet. So it's still going up on my board, even though it's not actually a Christmas card. It's still going up on here. I picked me up a bigger artificial tree, one that I can bend. And it's not real big and fat and round. And it's about maybe three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. I don't know. It's just a, a it's not really ugly. It's just a tree. Um, cause that little bitty one that I had sitting up there, I don't want to take up a lot of room on my thing. I want a standy up tree. I've been rearranging my apartment so I can do something a little different. So it'll be different than last year. Um, and then I got one from James, um, from Michigan and we're going to open this and Oh my goodness, look at the camper. That is so cute. That is so cute. And it says, Happy Holidays. And Santa, oh my gosh, that's Santa in the camper. I just realized there was Santa Claus in the camper. That is cute. Oops. And we got some cards. And it says, Hey, Laura, me and my wife are big fans of your channel. Thank you so much. We wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. You have inspired us to create YouTube channels. Hers is Wonderful Wonders and mine is Love of Nature. Oh my gosh, I gotta make sure I'm following both of you. I think I'm following, I know I'm following Wonderful Wonders. I don't know if I'm following Love of Nature. I have to check. If not, I'll give you both a hit up. But this is so cute. I am so glad because really, honestly, it's not hard. And pick something you have a passion with. And it doesn't have to be one thing. Just sharing something you like, a little part of your life. People like to engage with other people. And guys, people can be hateful out there. Just hit that little delete button. Go there thing the thing that shows their face and go to their channel block them if you have to and delete the comment you don't have to tolerate it and I'll tell you I, I had to grow some pretty tough skin and I still sometimes get right back in their faces because people think that they have to be rude and be mean and that's uncalled for so they sent me um, a couple cards and this one is um, I hope they don't mind. It's they have their YouTube channel. This is Love of Nature 1967, and it has his business email. He has a photography business, 
So um, there's this. I know it's going to show up um, backwards. I have my lights blinking, so it's going to be blurry. It's not going to focus on it. But anyways, um, and then I have hers. Her YouTube is, um, like I said, down and below. She, she hasn't um, gotten the thing where she can pick her YouTube name yet. But, um, Wonderful Wonders, W-O-N-D-E-R-F-U-L, W-O-N-D-E-R-S. Because sometimes what comes out of my mouth isn't what I'm saying. What you hear isn't, like, what I'm saying. But she posts random videos. So that is cool. So there you go. Um, thank you so much for my first two cards I got. And I am working on um what do you call it? My my car my I always send everybody a like a postcard kind of thing. And I'm trying to figure out what I want to put on it this year. Um I really like a couple of places I've been to. And I also like some of the older places I've been to. So I'm kind of thinking about using like three or four pictures and kind of combining them on one card. So I may be doing that. I'm going to get it done over this weekend so I can start um, creating cards over the weekend and getting them all out. Um, printed, not out, but printed. So I, if I have to trim, I can get them all trimmed. So everybody, thank you so much on that. Um, I love those cards. They're so cute. So thank you, Marlo, and thank you to James and his wife. And now, on to the health update. I finally, finally heard back from my GI doctor. The biopsies all come back um, negative for any, like, ulcers or anything. Um, the biopsies all showed um, that the little tumors they removed are um, the nine and stuff like that. There's no, no cancerous things going on that we have to worry about. Um, nothing that's going to grow. I don't know why they keep coming back though, but they do. Um, so we're good on that. I have to go on the 29th, which is Tuesday of next week for another gastric study where they make you eat the glow-in-the-dark egg and drink glow-in-the-dark juice and then they make you lay in this machine and see how long it takes for that to go from your stomach and it's supposed to go in that four hours it's supposed to travel all the way through your GI tract all the way through your intestines and everything and the last time I did this only 17% of it even left my stomach and you could watch it on the you know because the screen is up there in front of you and you can watch it and only 17% of what I ate came out of my stomach it didn't even go anywhere it just came out of my stomach that's a, that's all that happened um so that's where I was at like almost five years or four and a half years ago. So there's that. Um, what else? So I'm going in for another one of those. And he said no on the, because I had a um, hernia that he fixed, tiny little one, so he fixed that. Um, he said no on the gastric bypass, which I'm kind of glad to hear. Um, and I'm playing with a Sharpie. Sorry, guys. Um, so I canceled the gastric bypass. Um, and I'm back on a more stricter diet. I know um, at first I was trying to hold my weight and eating things that was making me sick. Because I could not go, go below 30, 32% body mass index in order to have the surgery. So I was eating things that was really making me sick and miserable and in a lot of pain. Because all that food just sits there and it hurts, okay? It just, and it, it just mentally and physically is exhausting to be in that much pain all the time and 
you're just miserable and you're not a happy person. So without having to do that, now I can go back to my, you know, pureeing my foods, mashing my foods, um, go back to drinking more of my, my meal shakes and things like that. And I am just beyond excited to get back to that. Um, because I've been holding myself right there at the 160 mark. And I dropped below it a little bit. And then, you know, I would like, I would pick like three days a week where I would eat food. And then the rest of the week I'd be like, I can't handle this anymore. I have to, I have to get away from the food and try to get what's stuck in my stomach out. I know that sounds gross, but that's life. So it's kind of like binging and purging is what I was doing. Um, cause I would binge to keep my weight up and then I would purge to get that, that stuck in my stomach out because I was in so much pain and that's not healthy. Um, if you haven't noticed, my hair is falling out. So, um, I talked to my GI doctor about that. Um, I do have some bald spots, um, coming. And that is because the lack of vitamins and minerals and stuff in my body. And that's because my liver is quitting. And when your liver quits, it attacks your body and pulls all of the nutrients and stuff that your body does have out to try to survive. I guess is how I do want to word it. So because I have gastroparesis, I'm not getting those nutrients and minerals and vitamins and all that from my food. So there isn't really any to pull from my body. So basically my liver is attacking my body. And now because I don't have anything, my hair is lacking what it needs to stay where it's supposed to be. So now I'm taking multivitamins, um, extra vitamins. Um, the, he also suggested the hair nails because my nails are like, they, they just break right off. Um, he suggested the hair, nails, and skin vitamin, which gives you even more of just what they need. Um, on top of a multivitamin. Uh, nobody around us has the liquid multivitamins anymore. So I'm trying my best to take the extra. Um, effort to look for the multivitamins. So everywhere I go, I'm looking for the liquid. So hopefully somewhere I can find the liquid multivitamin. Um, I'm taking the, like for the seniors, 50 plus, you know. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to take these off because it's irritating me to have my glasses on. Um, what else? The denture. Oh, my word, guys. My mouth is so sore. They say, well, first of all, it's been almost two months since I've had the first relining done. Which, really, it, it doesn't feel like everybody describes it being soft and cushiony and everything. It's not. It is like sticking concrete in my mouth when I put my denture back in after cleaning it and letting it soak and all that. And now I am like raw up in here. And it's like pieces are coming off. And now that reliner stuff is all white. Okay, it's like white and gross and looking. And, you know, they added a ton, like a quarter of an inch all the way around. And the whole denture is like a quarter of an inch taller and thicker than, than it was to begin with. So, and now it's like sharp. It's wearing down and it's sharp and it's cutting my mouth, especially up in here. And it is making me sore. My appointment is December 9th. I have got so many appointments between now and December 9th 
there's no way I can call them and try to say, okay, can I get in there early? Because I have doctors on the 5th, back to, uh, appointment on the 29th. I have um, craft a vendor event on the 3rd. Um, plus, I have other things going on. Bill pay on the 1st. Uh, there's no way I can dovetail everything together and get it all done. And try to get in there early. It just won't. It's not conceivable. And it's just not going to work. So there I go. I'm just kind of like. I'll make it. But I'm going to ask them. Why is this not soft like everybody's talking? Why is this not soft and cushiony like everybody's telling me these are? Because this is not. This is like sticking rough concrete in my mouth. And I've. I've watched a lot of videos and I've spoken to a lady here that went to Mid-America Dental and she had the relining done and she looked at me and she says, no, it shouldn't feel like that. It should be soft and it should be like when you put your denture in, it's like, like silicone. I said, no, this is gritty and tough and it, and I described it to her. Of course, at the time, I had my denture, like, glued in. And I haven't been back to see her. Because um, I said, well, you know, she says, well, do you have them, like, glued in? You can go in the bathroom and sit out and show me what yours looks like. I was like, yeah, I've got it glued in because otherwise it's not going to stay. But today, they're not glued in because they hurt that bad that I take them out quite often. To give my mouth time to heal. So that's where I'm at with my dentures. Um, there's From what I've talked to other people that have had it, you know, face to face and stuff like that. And watched YouTube videos and seen how other people's looked. This isn't right. It's like either she didn't mix it right or she, or they, she didn't use the right stuff. Um, is what I'm, and I'm hoping she didn't completely mess my denture up. Um, I know this stuff is supposed to come back off my denture and where it's all like on the side of my denture on the outside of my denture where it's not supposed to be does not come off. So I am really really worried that when they go to remove this reliner and put in a you know a different and reset it I'm worried that something's not right. And I tried to tell them that right after they did. I'm like, something doesn't feel right here. This does not fit right. And one side of my denture is like really long. And this one over here is not. So the denture is actually sitting in my mouth crooked. And when I told them that, they're like, oh, no. You'll just have to learn or you're going to have to have this ground down. And I told my dentist that. And she's like, no, I'm not grinding your teeth because you need to let your your mouth settle and once you're done then we'll see if I have to grind your teeth but I'm not grinding your teeth now but that's what they wanted me to do is have this tooth ground down so that my denture would fit but I think it's the denture I don't think it's anything to do with my teeth because the denture was made to fit my mouth does that make sense it does to me but anyways all right guys I love you all that's where I'm at with my dentures, with my health. Um, I have a plan for my health now. I don't feel so lost. I still have some more tests to get done. Um, once these tests are done, then we're going to move on with a game plan with my liver and my kidneys. Um, it's one step at a time. He doesn't want to do anything until he takes care of... Um, see where I'm at with the gastroparesis because... You really can't fix a whole lot until you know what the stomach can handle. Then we move on with the kidneys and liver. And because um, that all goes into play. Um, and then we're going to do, I guess, tests on to see where I'm at with my um, kidneys to see how far out I'll be. Um, for needing dialysis, I know like today my hands are very swollen. Um, 
even though I've taken meds, I'm not going to the bathroom like I should. The, it's just, there's so many variables. It's like some days I do and some days I don't. Um, so there's still a lot of tests to run, still a lot of things to go through. And it just, it's all um, day by day. So um, one step at a time. Um, it's great to have a specialist, an actual GI doctor, not someone that claims he is and he's not and doesn't really know what he's doing. Um, you know, it's nice to see a real doctor. So everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm sorry this was supposed to be a short video. It ended up being 21 minutes. Um, everybody, um, I hope everybody had a fantastic Thanksgiving. And I will talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. And Marlo, thank you so much. Today's video on Marlo's channel just made my day. Everybody, I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments. Bye, everybody.